Hi, in this video, I am going to explain to you how you can create a Windows driver session using an existing window. The technique used in this video is shown on Microsoft's own website on WinApp driver's own GitHub repo. The URL is given right here and a description from this url is also given below when and how to attach an existing windows application app window so the technique which is used here is first of all we are going to create a root session a desktop session and from that desktop session we are going to find all the windows inside that desktop session all right and then we are going to loop through those windows and try to find the one which has got the text which matches our requirements we are going to look for this calculator window over here i have already opened calculator on the screen win app driver is also opened so this is how we are going to go for example i have written this code over here let me just explain it to you First of all, there is an FPM options which is specifying an additional capability app root. This is how we create the desktop session and how we specify the capabilities for desktop session. Okay. And then down below, we create a session with this object. And afterwards, I have these two objects over here which are not initialized right now, they will be initialized later on if the window which we want is found on screen and then we have list of all windows which is found using the desktop session by calling the method find elements by x path and i am finding all the window type elements anywhere underneath the desktop session I try to apply some sophisticated XPath expressions over here, but after several hours of effort, I haven't been able to like uh, fetch the window which I need through the XPath. So I thought, okay, I will go with the for loop. Anyhow, let's run the number of how many windows are found on the console. This is a console application. And afterwards, we are going to go loop through the list of all windows which was found because of this operation over here. All right, so after this, we are going to print the text of the window on the screen. And here, this is just a check that the window is displayed just in case there is a window that matches the text we are looking for, but that is not somehow displayed. And in our case, it is the calculator. So this calculator application over here, if you see, it has got the calculator text attribute over here. If we inspect this window with any UI inspector, we'll be able to see the text. And next, as outlined in the FAQs, we are going to get the handle of this window, this calculator window. Because every window inside the Windows operating system has got a native window handle, an hwind attached to it. So it can be found by calling the get attribute method and passing it the parameter native window handle. Okay. And then we are going to print this window handle over here. This window handle is returned in a string format. Okay. And once we have the string, we need to parse it into an integer. And that's what we are doing next. We are parsing it into an integer right here. And after that, we are converting it into a string in a hexadecimal format. So now we will get another string. All right. We had a string handle. We converted it into a string and then we made a hexadecimal out of it. Okay. And afterwards, we create another appium options object and we add the additional capability this is a special additional capability add top level window 
add top level window capability it allows us to specify the handle of the window which we retrieved over here in hexadecimal format so the hexadecimal windows handle native window handle is going to go here in this parameter and afterwards we are going to break and after the for loop we are checking this variable window options if it is not null this means that we found the window which we were looking for okay and when we found the window which we were looking for we are going to create a new session and we are simply going to pass it the uri of the winamp driver which we want to run and the windows options and after that i have performed some operations using the keyboard now that you understand what i have done let me run this solution i pressed control f5 this operation can take a few seconds because there can be a lot of windows right under the desktop session so it can take a few seconds and then the list of all windows inside the desktop will be returned all right so here now you can see that the title and the window handle are printed and some operations are performed on the calculator i found another problem with this approach sometimes when i would try to call the click method on the elements of this session the winamp driver will show an internal error so i haven't been able to resolve that yet but maybe maybe i guess it's an internal bug because i am not doing anything wrong the same code works otherwise the same method call find element by name works otherwise it works fine but when i use it here on the same application it starts failing but that's not a problem at least for now you know how to find a window of an application which was not launched by your automation script and how to create a session using that so that's it for the current video i hope you liked it please do rate the course positively do give a positive rating to the course and leave a comment and if you have any questions please feel free to ask thank you very much bye